Regarding the time of the coming of Mashiach, there's a famous verse where the Prophet says, Ani Hashem Hishana. Hashem says that I will hasten it in its time. These words seem to be kind of self-contradictory. If it's coming in its time, it's not being hastened. It's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's happening when it's supposed to happen. On the other hand, if Hashem is hastening it, Hashem is making it come quicker, what does it mean it's being done in its time? There are various interpretations of the verse, starting with the famous interpretation of the Talmud, which, ex- which explains that there are two modes for Mashiach's arrival. Either Mashiach comes in its time if the Jewish people are not worthy, or if Hashem will bring haste in the coming of Mashiach due to the merits of the Jewish people. Another interpretation is that when Mashiach will come, it will happen in a very quick and speedy manner, even when it happens in its time. It won't be something which requires a whole length of time and to go through from one stage to the next stage and so on and so forth. It will happen in a speedy and quick manner. So it will happen in its time, but once the time comes, it will happen instantly. There's another point over here to, to delve into, which is that there are two aspects of the coming of Mashiach. When the coming of Mashiach will take place, on the one hand, it will be the greatest revelation of godliness from the highest levels being revealed. At the same time, the unique accomplishment of the ultimate future is that this revelation will permeate the world itself. It won't be something which will be added to the world, something that a person will feel is not who he really is, and is something which is external to him. But this is who he really is. He will identify with it on the most internal and personal way. So that is why when we talk about the coming of Mashiach, on one hand, we mention the fact that it's, it's done in its time. We all know in life there's certain things that we want to happen and they happen, but when they happen before it's time, which does, does, doesn't happen, the person tries to get a job, the person tries to get married, and he could have tried the same exact job, the same exact spouse, but if, since it wasn't the time, it didn't happen. When the time comes, it happens right away. Why? Because now the person is ready, the circumstances are ready that Hashem set up the world. Now is the time for it to actually take place. When something happens and it's time, it means that the person, the circumstances are completely ready, they're completely prepared and set for this thing to happen. The other hand, when something happens in a hasty and speedy way, it means that this is coming from a level where it doesn't really matter all the circumstances and all the cause and effects and the whole order of events that need to take place in order for this to happen aren't relevant at all. That's why it can happen in a quick and speedy manner. The future redemption will be a merge of two things. On the one hand, it will happen in its time. And its time doesn't necessarily refer to a specific date in the calendar, but it means it will happen at a time when the world will be completely ready for it. The world will be set, will be ready, as the famous statement of the Alter Rebbe said, Mashiach will be discussed in the newspapers, which means that just like the world will be ready for Mashiach, just as if it's written in the newspapers that Mashiach is coming. In addition... You know, in the past few years, we have been discussing the newspapers, the arrival of Mashiach. So from one hand, the world will be in its time, the world will be set. On the other hand, the essence of the redemption is really something which far surpasses any order of events, anything that human beings can accomplish on their own. It comes from the essence of Hashem Himself, which transcends the complete order of events, the complete whole procedure of cause and effect that are necessary for things to materialize in this world. So Hashem says, Ani Hashem, I Hashem, Be'ita, Achishan. On the one hand, the redemption will happen in a way that will be in its time. The world will be ready for it. But don't think that this means that it will be a limited, a limited phenomenon, something which happens on a, on a level of nature in its right time and through a bunch of causes and effects is limited. It's, you know, with its set, it's prepared, it's organized in nature, but it's not something which transcends the limits of nature. So the future redemption will transcend the limits of nature. When it will happen, we will realize it's from a level which is totally beyond the time. It's totally beyond anything that we could prepare for. But at the same time, it will be able to connect and permeate with our consciousness, with our awareness, and that will be the unique accomplishment of the future redemption. What this means to all of us is that on the one hand, a person has to become ready for the redemption. We have to do what we can to try to live a life which emulates, which prepares us for the type of life which will be in the future redemption when the world will be a godly place, a place which will be will be no self-centeredness. People will focus on the truth, on worship, on, on serving God, and focusing on what's really important in life. At the same time, while we prepare for this, we have to keep in mind that as much as we do, 
The future redemption is something which is really beyond something which we could ever imagine. And the blend of these two things, that from one hand will be beyond our expectation, and nevertheless will be able to connect with our human experience, is a unique accomplishment of the future redemption. Hashem should help. We should marry the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days. Amen.